So okay. this goes to the chicken. This goes to the chicken. Can you eat it? You and I can eat it. Going vegan, driving EVs, and choosing reusable cups are all better for the planet. But what do we do about piles and piles of leftover groceries? One company is trying to tackle that. Approximately 40% of all the food that gets grown gets thrown away. And if food waste was a country, it would be the third largest greenhouse gas in there. So this is a big, big, big problem. And what we are doing is we're actually collecting all that surplus grocery food from supermarkets. Of course, after any donations can occur, as the first and best usage of food is to be fed to humans, then the next best usage of that food is to be upcycled at a facility like ours into a chicken feed. After food bank donations, the closed loop system starts at the supermarket. Yeah, so this is at Acme, so they just cold their aisle, they help depackage, and then they put that food, that surplus grocery food, into these bins, and this is what then we are able to pick up every two or three days from their store. Do you keep track of what supermarkets, what bin came from? It's a great question. So actually, you can see right here, we RFID track and trace the bins. We actually provide this data back to the supermarkets. So they know actually on a weekly basis how much food they're actually throwing away, so hopefully they can waste less. So they may purchase less bananas after you show them that <laughs> they're actually buying more than they need. Yeah. Absolutely. You can see the food traveling up the conveyor system. We have uh, people pulling out any foreign material as well as we have a metal detector. So the product will go up there and it'll get ground up. And then the next step is this big soup kind of kettle that we have. About 160 tons of that food is created into a liquid that then gets put into these huge vats, about 6,000 gallons. We heat it up and then we put it on big dryers and get it down to a usable form that if you crumble it up, it can get pelletized into a chicken feed. Can and you eat it? You and I can eat it. <laughs> Do I eat it? Not bad, right? Yeah. <laughs> How would you describe this taste? It's a little salty. A little salty, like a Parmesan chip. Oh, okay, Parmesan chip. That's a very nice way of putting it. What we're really doing is essentially reverting nature back to the way it intended to operate. When we all used to grow up on a farm, we used to take our leftovers and feed it to our chickens out back. They grew healthy, they grew great. We're just taking that same concept and now just bringing it to a large scale infrastructure level. It's the best tasting chicken I've ever had. And chef after chef had said the same thing. And it's not that surprising, better feed is gonna give you a better bird. The company says each Do Good Chicken stops four pounds of surplus groceries from being thrown away and reduces three pounds of greenhouse gases. How? Well, leftover food often ends up in landfills where it emits methane, a greenhouse gas 25 times more potent than carbon dioxide at trapping heat in the atmosphere, which contributes to global warming. I uh, ran food policy in the Obama administration. I was also their chef, so cooked dinner for the family five nights a week. And now my life is focused on uh, climate change, human health, and food systems. I'm a father of two young kids, and the, the prospect of leaving them a world where they're gonna struggle to feed themselves, where there might not be enough water to, to irrigate our crops, is something that you know uh, keeps me up at night. So it's about really making climate change tangible to all of us that we can all do our part, not change our habits, but yet eat a delicious piece of chicken that now actually has a net positive impact on the world. Mm -hmm.